shadow and scope in stencil welcome to coding locker guys this is the next part of our playlist in what we are learning stencil with a practical example so uh, today we will focus on the shadow and scope so in earlier i think in the part one when we started this i said that in the later part we'll work on this so let's now work on this this is the time so right now if you have the code then you can run this and you can see we have this styling now what if if i remove this shadow remove the comma as well press ctrl s let it compile let it rerun even for the safer side i will refresh let's see do we have any change in the output or not here we are we do not have any change in the output so why we use this shadow or scope so to understand this go to your index.html so let me create one div here maybe div and so this is outside of component what we are doing we have we are creating components right we are creating web components then these components will be used in different applications right so at that time it's not necessary that you will have everything in the component you must be having some parent root element as well on that page so consider this this is your component and on the above you have some sort of html right now we are going with an example just one we have one div, div. this is outside of component press ctrl s after that what do you do we have this my card wrapper css which is added here to this parent element right so what i have done i have created a uh, created a div i will apply the same class here my card wrapper div and let me copy the css here from here as well and go to this index.html and let's add a style tag and paste it here and let's change this a bit let's make it maybe red color yeah that's fine so there, this is practical scenario right this happens your application should have some html and where web component have the other html and the css and your css your parent css might conflict with the component css right my card wrapper and my card wrapper but i did ideally they have different css they maybe they don't want to have the padding they don't want to have the width the width should be just maybe uh, 100 pixel whatever but the name is same so let's see what happens if you do not write the scope. Let me refresh this. See, this is the red one you have ordered. You have written here my card wrapper, and this is outside of component. And you are saying this is outside of component. But all of a sudden, what is what has happened? It, it has converted into the gray one. So why this has happened? You have clearly mentioned that i want the red color the your parent one so what what happened this css which is written inside the component has overridden the style which was at the parent root level and this is the reason for which we make use of the shadow and the scope now if i come back to tsx once again and add this shadow to true and refresh this now you would notice that the outside component has its own css and the inner component will have its own css even though they both share the same class name see this is outside of component and the width is 100 pixel and soon we'll have different component let it refresh let it re let me refresh one more time Here we are this is different this is different although the name has name is same but this one we have the same name and here also we have the same name so that is the reason we use them now further what is the difference between shadow and scope so let me convert this in a scope same the value should grow and again let me refresh please have patience this is behaving little weird i have to refresh sometimes twice maybe really quick i'm changing the styles and other parts and it is little slow as well uh, yeah i knew it that's why i already asked for the patient patience let it refresh one more time here we are 
so now you would notice there is no difference in the output but there is still a difference in the inspect element i'll do and i'll show you the difference i have pressed the f12 i don't know why it is now really slow it is following my orders but after 20 seconds but no one has that much time let's be a little fast man so let's hover this react button and see what we have so here you would notice we have uh, we let me yeah call this once again you will see this is a button btn react and then we have sc my card we have buttons stencil we have sc my card but you would notice that i have never added this sort of class to any of my buttons i have just added btn stencils so what happens with with this uh, when you set this scope to true it actually automatically adds some sort of um, attribute to your elements and changes all our css styles to take that attribute right into the account so that is fine but what if if i move to this shadow what it gonna do for uh, scope we have understood this is adding the special attributes to our elements let's refresh and copy this react one as well so you see this time we do not have special symbol added here we do not have that thing still we are getting the css so that is the difference between the uh, uh, scoped one and in the shadow one so how it is working in the shadow one so basically this stencil automatically providing some sort of you know uh, configuration through which it is able to identify and add the css so if i focus on the this one style sc you can see this is sc my card this is the name of your component and sc uh, for maybe a stencil and then the, this is the css and due, due to which this is identifying and if you go with the documentation you would always feel or uh, it is always recommended by uh, stencil that go for the shadow uh, call and true the reason uh, behind is that another difference is that it actually supports in the older browser as well like it it will automatically provide the polyfills for our older browser and you do not need to do um, other things as well and other differences that we have seen in the uh, scope you you have noticed that we have added little uh, what we say uh, sc my card right the attribute so right now we don't have so maybe little bit of code um, uh, line of code has also improved right so this might impact little bit of the performance that is something which is a pension at uh, uh, stencil documentation right so these are these are the few differences hope uh, we are clear with at least scope and uh, shadow so that is all for uh, this part thank you for being at coding locker guys if you have any query or any doubt please uh, let me know i'll be i would be really happy to answer those queries and please 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 to subscribe coding locker thank you so much